Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Pedro. From your assessment, I can see that communication is a major problem in your marriage. I want you both to talk to each other. I have nothing to say to this woman. Of course you have nothing to say. I'm not surprised. Typical of you, always keeping things to himself. I don't know why I agreed to come here with you. We should be signing our divorce papers, not here wasting my time. When I mean communicate, I'm not saying argue with each other. I mean, tell your spouse exactly how you feel. You used to be loving and charming. You showed me love that I had never experienced before. You knew my new button without being told anything. You were the envy of all the single people, but in the past two years, you erased all the beautiful memories we had and replaced them with terrible ones. I tried to hang on because I thought it was a face. Mm. But you went deeper down the drain and you dragged our marriage down with you. Of course, you only talk about my flaws. But you've forgotten that it was your attitude that changed in the first place, Shibi. Ever since you became friends with Susan. Anytime I try to complain about it, you get so enraged. So what do I do? I keep quiet about it. And then you started being less considerate towards me, treating me like the third wheel in this marriage. Keep my friend's name out of your mouth. She has done nothing to you. You are the problem. Be man enough and accept it. Can you see what I'm saying? You claim that Susan is not the problem, but and since you started hanging out with her, you've changed completely. Huh? You, do, you, you no longer cook. You do not pray. You, you, know, you, you, know, you, you know you. And you cannot say that she's a bad influence on you. That's the sad part about this thing. So that bad. You never took out time to explain it to me like this. If you did, we won't be here. That's because anytime I try to mention Susan, you just flare up. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry I made you feel that way. I'm ready to walk on this marriage if you are. Of course I am. I would want nothing more. And I'm actually glad you came to this place. You have effective systems for couples. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I would recommend that you do what we call open day every week. Once a week, where you communicate how you feel exactly to your spouse. Do not argue mm -hmm. about it. So communicate. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to accurately diagnose cases in less than 15 minutes? Then, Family Systems Engineering is what you need. To enroll for the next batch, please visit www.ifedacademy.com or call the number on your screen. The Institute of Family Engineering and Development, grooming the most effective family life practitioners humanity deserves. <laughs>